When it comes to building giant infrastructures and mega projects, consider China to be one of the best on the list. So in this video, you are going to witness some of the very best in China when it comes to super engineering. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you'll always be updated with our new videos. In this video, we are going to present to you China's unbelievable super engineering you can't imagine. So without further ado, let us take you to our video. Number 1. China Builds Piers of Long Cable State Bridge Across Yangtze China started to build piers of a long cable state bridge across the Yangtze. The bridge has a main span of 1,176 meters one of the longest in the world. It links cities of Changzhou and Taizhou in East China's Jiangsu province. Two caissons, which are the watertight retaining structures, are used to work on the foundations of two piers. Each steel caisson is 95 meters long, 57.8 meters wide and 72 meters high. It covers an area of 13 basketball courts and consumes 1.8 tons of steel. Number 2. World's Highest Transmission Twin Towers Completed in East China Port The last piece of the top shelf of the two 380-meter high transmission towers at the Ningbo Jiaoshan Port in East China's Zhejiang Province was put in place. This marks the breaking of the world record for the tallest power pylon, which was previously hailed by China Demotion Pylon, which stands at 370 meters also in Joshan. Number 3. Construction of bridge on Southwest China's high-speed railway completed. After completing the main project, the 971-meter-long Yachehe Bridge of Chengdu Guiyang High Speed Railway comprised of long-span steel and steel concrete composite and was completed in 2019. It has total length of 632.6 km and design speed of 250 kph. Travel time between the two counties will be cut from 14 hours to about 2 hours. Number 4. China's speed construction of emergency Haoshinshan Hospital. Haoshenshan Hospital is one of the emergency hospitals for patients in Wuhan, built in a race against time. The building's foundations were completed in three days, and the following day, framework of the rooms was finished. Within 10 days, Haoshenshan Hospital is ready to receive patients. Number 5. China and Russia Turn on Gas Pipeline Power of Siberia <music> 
Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin inaugurated a new liquefied natural gas pipeline. The power of Siberia pipeline will carry 38 billion cubic meters of Russian gas to northern China every year. The pipeline project stems from a 2014 energy deal struck by Russian state-owned energy giant Gazprom and China's National Petroleum Corporation. Number 6. China Overhauls Major Power Transmission Line China is overhauling a major ultra-high voltage direct current power transmission line. The overhaul is the first of its kind since the line was put into service in 2010. Thousands of eroded and degraded insulators are replaced. The 1,907-kilometer Fulong Fangshan power transmission line links Shanghai with southwest China's Sichuan. Number 7. China Constructed Power Projects Benefit Energy Thirsty Pakistan From coal-fired power plant to wind farm, China constructed power projects have helped ease energy thirst in Pakistan. Watch. Number 8. This is how China built Leishenshan Hospital in 10 days. China completed the construction of the second special hospital in Wuhan, the epicenter of the epidemic, in a matter of just 10 days to help combat the outbreak. The 80,000 square meter medical facility has a capacity of 1,600 beds. Number 9. China's new engineering wonder in railway construction. A grand railway bridge flying over the Shishi River in Guizhou has created many firsts in China's bridge construction history. The construction work started in 2013 and lasted for five years. Number 10. Massive power transmission line starts operation in northwest China.
a 226 km long, 750 kV power line linking two counties in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region started transmitting power after two years of construction. It will provide support for the region's coal turn electricity ambition and is expected to benefit 316,000 households. And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks, Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. day.